Um, okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today for this, uh, the second session as part of the Empower track. Um, and this track is digital tools and workflows to support research. Um, and this is uh, our first of the co-working and dis discussion sessions that we're hosting today. Um, so just briefly before we get going, we do have a code of conduct. Um, Escalator is dedicated to creating a safe, respectful and collegial environment for the benefit of everyone who participate in our program. So basically just treat people with integrity and respect as, as you would like to be treated. We do have a shared document. We have put the link in the chat for the Zoom. Um, I don't know if we've had new people join since then. We can put it in again. Um, so just use this document to introduce yourselves, to ask questions, add comments. We've also got the schedule in there for the day um, and any links that you may need. So for the documents, um, the link to these slides, everything is there. So just to remind you what we're trying to achieve with this program, for this program, we're mostly targeting it at, it at women in humanities and social sciences who want to upskill themselves in terms of digital and computational skills. This means you can be right at the starting process, starting place of learning more about digital scholarship in general, or you can be uh, interested in learning very advanced natural language processing. It doesn't matter where you are at. We're trying to develop this program so that anyone can join at any time. If you miss any of the sessions, it doesn't matter because ultimately we're going to create a space where you can work at your own pace and we don't want people to feel like they've fallen behind, they, they can't join anymore. Um, so the session, the, the sessions are planned until the 8th of December um, with a nice celebratory event on the 8th of December to share what people have learned over the past, um, well, when we look back in December over the past eight months. What have people learned? And it may be not only what you've learned in this program, but also through other programs that you're involved in, anything that relates to digital and computational skills in your research. So there's the eight step program, everything is on the website and you're welcome to ask questions. Join us on the Slack space. Um, don't, feel, don't feel like you're ever not welcome. You're always welcome, even if you haven't shown up for three months or six months. Yeah, the first session we held was uh, on the 19th of May. Um, and that was in that first little bit there, 101 innovations showcasing 400 plus research tools and various workflows. Um, so here we had uh, Bianca Kramer and Jeroen Bosman from Utrecht University give us a really fascinating presentation on digital tools and workflows to support research, uh, focusing on efficiency, openness and transformation. Um, and they introduced us to this research life cycle with all of these various steps. Um, so during the course of this Empower program, we will be focusing on different elements of this cycle. Um, so next, our next session, for example, will be looking at the preparation and the discovery. And then each month after that, we'll be focusing on a different, a different um, section of the, the cycle. Um, so today's co-working and discussion session, if you would uh, prefer more of a private breakout room for quiet, a quiet working space, then do let us know and we can, we can put you in one. So our first activity that we have is looking at template one. Um, and we just, so similar to if you were at the uh, presentation last time, we just took five minutes to reflect on the tools that you currently use and those that you would like to learn more about. So using this link, um, this will get you to this template on Zenodo. So if you click on that, you'll get to the Zenodo page. And then if you scroll down, you'll get to all of the documents. And you can download either docx or PDF. Um, if you want to fill it in as a docx on your computer, you can. What we recommend is if you download that, um, and then once you've got the downloaded document, which I've got here, so I've already downloaded that. So I've downloaded it and I've opened it. Um, you can actually also open it as a Google Doc. Um, so here you would just control click and you open that as a Google Doc, which I've got open here. So yeah, this is our first template. Um, and in here, so from the, the 101 Innovations talk last week, you would have seen these sort of these various uh, research workflows. Um, just with sort of some ideas of, of the tools and things that people may use. So we've got two tables in this template. We've got table one. So it's just for you to list what are the tools that you are currently using. So 
in these different sort of sections of the research life cycle, just to kind of put in there, you know, whatever comes to your mind, what tools you're currently using for, for each one of these, one of these steps. Um, and then also which tools would you like to learn more about? So if you've heard of, you know, you might currently use, you know, this one tool, but then you actually want to learn more about another tool that might help you with these various steps of the research life cycle. Um, so once you're in the Google Doc, you can't, this, this one is, is restricted, but if you go to file, make a copy, and then you can actually make a copy of this document and save that into your drive, um, and then, yeah, edit it from there. If you're not comfortable with Google Docs, you can, of course, fill in the template that you've downloaded as well. I can quickly run through the first few slides for those who have just joined and to show them what we're doing. Um, so just very briefly, um, yeah, we have a code of conduct. So just please uh, treat people with respect and the dignity that you would like to be treated. Uh, so the template one, if you go to, so this is the link uh, for this template. So it's it's where a place where you can just reflect on the tools that you use and those uh, the tools that you want to learn more about. So you can click on that link. We've put it in the chat, the Zoom chat. It's also in the shared document. Uh, that'll take you to Zenodo and you can just download it either as a docx or a pdf. Um, if you prefer to work in docx on your computer you can do that but we do recommend that uh, you open it up as a google doc. So if you've downloaded the docx file um, at the top here you'll see there's an option for you to open it as a google doc. Uh, so we just click and open that. Um, and then you're not, you won't be able to edit this, this is restricted, but if you go to file, make a copy, and you can copy this document to somewhere in your own drive, and then you can work on it. So we're just going to give you a few minutes to work through that. So on this template, you'll see there's a table that you can fill in for the tools that you're currently using and to try and put these into each of the steps of that research life cycle. Um, and then table two, table two are the tools that you would like to learn more about. Again, if you can, um, to put them in, in each of the steps. Um, and the reason why we're asking you to go through this first exercise is really um, based on experience that we have with people interested in learning um, new digital and computational skills. What we found is that very often people don't have the words, even in this meeting already today, I've seen people saying, I want to learn new tools. But it's really important, like it can be incredibly overwhelming if you're trying to, look, to change your whole research life cycle, the whole workflow that you're using for your research. So what we really want to help you with is to identify something um, that, to identify something that can, that you can start with that will make a difference in your work in the next week or month or three months um, and learn one thing and then stay to, and, and learn to learn new tools because I think that's really what we can help you with is how to learn to change your workflow over time rather than coming in and saying I want to learn Python but you've never coded which is an incredibly difficult task and make people feel like you can't achieve this uh, we want to help you step back a little bit, start by setting um, achievable goals within a time frame, help you achieve those goals to feel the success and then build on that so slowly gaining momentum. And now, as Anelda said, I mean, you, you might not be aware of, you know, knowing what tools are out there is a huge challenge. You may not know what's, what's there. Um, and that's kind of a, going to be a focus of sort of the following sessions after this in each of those elements of the of that life cycle is what tools are available to you for each step so so the exercise we're doing now is just jotting down what you currently use and what you want to learn just the ones that you know of but i mean don't be worried if you can't think of think of any or many we are going to cover this in subsequent sessions these co-working sessions are the place where you guys are going to do the work you you mostly ladies are going to do the work um okay. And you can tell us, we're going to be here, we're going to facilitate, we're going to support you, we're going to connect you to other communities, we're going to link you to resources where we can, or at least hear your questions and take time to look for answers. 
but um, this is your time to actually start learning something or meeting with people and talking about how you're going to learn something. 